Hi, my name is Vivek. I'm the lead programmer and team lead on Team Two Mainstream. Hello, I'm Ashik Sharif. I'm the technical 3D artist. Hi, I'm Anand. I'm the game designer, level designer, and the programmer. Hi, I'm Shashank. I'm the concept artist and a 3D artist. Hi, I'm Karthikeyan. I'm 3D artist, animator, and sound designer. Sagittarius is a first-person on-rails shooter made for the Oculus Rift on the PC platform. The game takes place in a fictional medieval era where the player has to defend himself and his chariot from a legion of enemy soldiers. The objective of the game is to stay alive, kill all enemy soldiers and reach the end of each level using only a crossbow and a knife. The target audience of the game is casual and hardcore gamers who own a virtual reality device. In Sagittarius, the camera and the crossbow will be controlled by the player's head movement. The game uses Oculus Rift's head tracking feature to aim with pixel perfect accuracy. The game will also not have a fixed crosshair point and the player will need to use his own judgement and instincts as to where the enemies are moving, the trajectory of his arrow and the speed of the arrow as well. We believe this will increase the challenge of the game. While the chariot itself will be controlled by an NPC, the player will be facing in the opposite direction to fend off hordes of enemies. The game will also have multiple types of arrows like the fire arrow, the explosive arrow and the smoke arrow, each of them having their own characteristics. Similarly, the game will have different types of enemies ranging from a normal unguarded soldier to a heavily armoured horseback rider. Each of these enemies will have a specific weak spot on them. It is up to the player to find these weak spots and to use the different types of arrows that are in his quiver to take down these enemies. In each level, the number, the type of enemies and the spawn pattern of them will change greatly depending on the difficulty of each level. Sagittarius will have a colourful cartoonish universe. The art style could be compared to games like Goddess and Angry Birds Cut. Since our main focus is virtual reality lovers, through Oculus Rift's display, the colourful art style with simple painted texture makes it more appealing to the player. The clean environment of the game allows the enemies and the level elements to stand out. This will also make the visuals less confusing to the player while enhancing the gameplay experience. The tools that we would be using would be a combination of Photoshop, 3ds Max, Maya and ZBrush. Sound is one of the key parts of our gameplay experience. The background music will be outsourced and all other sound effects will be produced using Adobe Audition. Being a virtual reality game, the player needs to feel the presence of enemies without even looking at them. In order to achieve this, we will be using sound effects with 3 dimensional depth. We have a detailed development plan that has allotted tasks to each team member for every week. After the first 3 weeks, we will be having our first playable prototype. At the end of 6th week, we will have an alpha build with all art assets implemented. The next 3 weeks will be left for buffer time and polishing. The game is specifically targeted at the entire virtual reality market. For the protoplay showcase, we will be focusing only on the Oculus Rift. However, we intend to develop the game further to integrate the current gen VR devices as well. For our university project, we made this quick prototype where the player has to get high scores by shooting arrows at bullseye targets. This game was hugely popular among our fellow students and we are also highly optimistic that the protoplay build will also be a huge success. Thank you.